What up everyone, it's your boy FlozMG, and welcome back to Beyblade IRL Intro in the Works. We've done a couple episodes of World Championship Teams from Beyblade Metal Masters in real life. Now we are going to be moving on to Team Garcia versus Team Gon Gon Galaxy. And in the anime, this one had a very interesting way of doing their uh, semi-final battles. Which we're going to get to in this episode, if need be. Each team had four members on it, so we're going to be doing four head-to-head -head battles, best out of three. If need be, we're going to go into the battle that they did in the anime, which was a four-against-four four knockout battle, where as soon as one bay from one team loses, the next bay from that team enters in. No hesitations! But I say we should just get into this. The first battle is going to be between the two subs with Flame Libra and Ray Gasher M145Q. I still hate that performance tip spin track combo. But who knows how it's going to perform in this? Let's see. Let it rip. And let it rip. I can probably tell how this one's already going to go. Yeah, kind of figured. Let it rip. And let it rip. Hopefully this time we can get an actual battle. Oh, he used the bank of the stadium to stop. He almost went out a few times, but even so, after all that, I don't think Gasher is going to make much of an effect. Oh, off-centered. There you go. But yeah, this is kind of what we expected. Yeah, in the first battle, Gasher flung himself out and then ultimately led to a sleep out. So, Gang Gang Galaxy wins that first battle. Now, on to the next one. The next battle is going to be Ray Striker going up against Ray Gasher 135SF. Th that sounds right, yes. And yes, I know, another Ray Gasher? What? Watch the anime and you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, let's get into the actual battle, shall we? Let it rip. And let it rip. Hopefully in this one we'll be able to see more of an actual battle and not complete movement of the stadium. But it seems like Ray Gasher is preserving his stamina in the center of the stadium, whereas Stryker seems to just be racing around. Just waiting for that one single clash that can change everything. Which I think it's about to come. Any minute now. There it is. Oh! Stryker nearly got the stadium out right there. But, oh! Nope. Ray Gasher wins that one. Let it rip. And let it rip. All right. That's what I thought was going to happen in the previous round. Tied one to one, we might actually have an alternate result here. I'm gonna hold it in place this time. Again, Striker racing around the stadium, losing his stamina, which probably means Gasher will win. All Gasher needs is just one swift blow to Striker's horn. But Striker's moving in. Oh! Striker does not have enough stamina to land a strong enough hit to land Gasher outside the stadium. Oh, wait a minute. Actually. Actually, hold on a minute. Okay, never, never mind. Yeah, Gasher wins. In this one, it seems that Gasher won the best two out of three with a dual sleep out against Striker, but sustaining one stadium out himself. But in the end, that means that Team Garcia gets the point, evening it one to one. This next battle is going to be interesting. In the anime, this wasn't the big matchup that was at the end, but we are instead going to be doing Earth Eagle against Cyclone Herculeo 85 whole flat or flat? I think it's 85 flat. And I know that this battle wasn't the matchup that was in the anime, because in the anime, the big matchup was Earth Eagle against Ray Gill, but... We're going to be doing it as if they naturally did the battles. I don't know how else to word it. Let's just get into it. Let it rip. And let it rip. Alright, Cyclone Herculeo is definitely probably one of my favorite attack type base, mainly just from the fusion wheel alone. And if he can get a strong enough attack onto Earth Eagle, it could knock him right out of the stadium if Eagle's defenses don't hold up. But it seems like they're going to be holding up nicely. And even while tornadoing, Eagle still manages to very swiftly dodge 
Freaky Leo's attacks. But Herculeo does not have the stamina to support. Yeah. Because that happens. Let it rip. And let it rip. Alright. Oh, Herculeo got a strong hit right off the bat. But Eagle was able to get right back to the center of the stadium. Alright, so. Oh! Herculeo's got a couple of hits going, but Eagle's defenses are holding up pretty well. But after all those attacks, Herculeo begins to lose stamina until inevitably he's the one who stops spinning. Herculeo did not have enough stamina to support his attacks. Eagle's defenses were too strong, therefore getting another victory for Team Gang Gang Galaxy, leading it 2-1. to one. This next battle, though, the next battle is going to be between Galaxy Pegasus and Ray Gill 100 RSF. That sounds right. And yeah, like I said, the big battle was between Ray Gill and Earth Eagle in the end. But no, I'm doing this as if they uh, did the world championships in the order they were supposed to do it instead of the four against four knockout battle. But if this one ends up uh, being won by Ray Gill, that'll be two to two. So we will maybe do the knockout battle in the end. That depends on if Regal wins. Let it rip. And let it rip. Oh, yeah, let's try and hold that in place so it doesn't go flying. Pegasus with the light rubber flat performance tip races around the stadium much more than Ray Gill's rubber semi-flat performance tip. Due to the less friction from Ray Gale's performance tip, he's able to hold his stamina much more as opposed to um, freaking Pegasus. That being said, that also means Pegasus' attack power is much higher had he not been racing around the stadium. Let it rip. And let it rip. Oh, Jesus! Ho oh, ho We need to see that in slow motion! Let it rip. Oh, Jesus! Despite that one being absolutely awesome, we're not going to count that. Let it rip. And let it rip. All right. Pegasus again racing around the stadium. Oh, he got, he's getting a couple hits on Ray Gale, none of which are strong enough to result in a stadium out, though. But it does seem like they are bringing down Ray Gale's defense and stamina as well. They kind of look pretty similar in terms of their... Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Ooh. Oh, that oh that one was close. I have to go over the footage, but I, I'm going to say that one's a tie. I did not expect that. I expected Regale to just wipe the floor with Pegasus. Oh, but never mind. Pegasus comes in second win and knocks Regale right out of the stadium. Even though there were a lot of awesome battles in that one, I don't know why it didn't capture the final battle. What the fuck? Because, like, in the first battle... It was Ray Gill defeating Pegasus Sleep Out. Then there was that battle in the middle where Pegasus got flung out immediately that I'm not going to count. Then there was a battle where they stopped simultaneously on each other. Then there was a battle where Pegasus flung Gill out, which ultimately means that it would have ended up in a tie. I did one more battle. Why wasn't it captured? Oh, well, but the point being in that battle that didn't get captured, Ray Gill won with a stadium out to Pegasus. Which means that it ends up being 2-2, two to two, which means that we're going into the knockout battle. I don't even know how many tries this is going to take me because trying to get every single Beyblade off one right after the other. But what if one Beyblade stops before I can even launch the next one? We're just going to find out how that's going to go. Alright, this is probably going to be a shit show, but let's go. Let it rip. And let it rip. Okay, gotcha. Oh, shit! Libra's out! What the fuck? Okay, uh, send and strike her immediately. Damn, I did not expect that in the slightest. Okay, gas you're done for. Moving on with the next gas here. Striker's already almost out of his. Never mind. I was about to say out of stamina, never mind, he's out of the stadium. Okay, Pegasus, get in there. Damn! 
Everyone's getting sent out one right after the other. Herculeo, get in there! Everyone's getting sent out one right after another! Who's gonna get sent out next? And Pegasus done for? Okay, come on. Now moving on with Eagle. Eagle goes in. Herculeo's already lost a good amount of his power and stamina from not getting an immediate stadium out. Okay, Herculeo done for. Now finally, Ray Gill. Get in there now. Who's gonna win this one between Eagle and Ray Gill? Jeez. Everything was happening so fast I could barely even commentate. But now it looks like Ray Gill is slow. Oh. Oh. It looks like Eagle is starting to. Oh. Eagle looks like he's starting to lose his stamina. Will he be able to hold, hold on long enough to drain Ray Gill's power first? Oh, they're both losing power, it seems, but. Oh, wait. All of that for a tie? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, I guess it was a tie. After all of that, it ends up in a tie. What? So, I guess the only conclusion I can draw from this is that there are two well evenly matched teams. So, I thought this one might have a clear winner, but nope. This one actually ended up in a tie from both sides. And I guess that's the result. Again, these videos are not about genuine statistics, it's just about entertainment and hoping that you enjoy it. But for now, I've been FlozMG, this has been Beyblade IRL, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.